Fiddlers Band Les Radio, we're live here at the uh, Hard Rock Hell Festival. It's the last day of the three this weekend. I'm glad to say we've got Black Star Bullet with us. How are you guys? How you doing? We're yeah. good, how are you doing? Played your set earlier? Yep, yep. So how did it go? It went well, it was brilliant actually, yeah. yeah. It was great. Felt good, there was a lot of people there, they enjoyed it, so yeah, all good. Yeah. What would you say is your uh, musical sound Ooh. that you bring to a gig? Uh, it's old school rock, really. It's mm. not. It's not metal for sure. Yeah. It's old school rock, but um, but yeah, it was good. Tunes, obviously. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. some yeah. memorable tunes. Yeah. That's what we all like to hear. Excellent stuff. Um, how long have you been together as a band? Because your your, your first album came out in, what 2014. Yes. Uh, yeah. 20. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I can't I don't know. We can't remember. Um, yeah, a bit before that, we've been around the block a bit, on and off. We've been together quite a while, so... Uh, yeah. So, yeah, quite a while. With the, with the same name band? Uh, no, we've had a couple of different names before that. Mm-hmm. Anything we'd know? Uh, we were Loophole before Blackstar. I was expecting you to say something like Les Zeppelin or something like that. Yeah, Les Zeppelin, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Loophole and... Remember the other one? Uh, nah, the other one, no. <laughs> that was it's got prehistory. It, it yeah, was that, that, that memorable. Was pre- he can't remember. Yeah, that was yeah. prehistory. Yeah, that was a different lineup, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that didn't count. <laughs> Last year we had um, our own noise as well. Uh, is that forming the basis of your set at the moment? Uh, we're still playing some of the last album, but yeah, we are, obviously we're, we're promoting that one. So we're playing a lot of stuff off there. Mm. But we still play some of the old stuff because people, when we talk to people. They, Ask us to play them, so yeah, so it's part of the band, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Have you got anything lined up for any new material? Do you get a chance to get together as a yeah? We've actually been we've, we've started recording for the next album already. We've been in the studio pretty much finished three tracks to start. Uh, they just need a few overdubs doing and uh, mixing. And we'll probably now we've got a couple more gigs before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And then we'll probably be back in the studio January, I would imagine. Yeah. Or finishing them off and probably starting some new ones. We've got the gigs, as you say, before the end of 2018. Have we got anything pencilled in for 2019? We've got no tours pencilled in. We're well, 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 oh, yeah, we're, ba- we're back here, actually, sorry. We're back here on the AOR, mm-hmm. which is February, March. March, March. March. Yeah. yeah. So we're back then, here doing yeah. that one. Uh, and if Rockwich we can... as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Later on in August. What's that, Rockwich? Rockwich. Yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. the end of August? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a really good lineup. Yeah. Just I was just thing. looking at that. Yeah. Yeah. Got, got massive and people like that. There. Yeah. So it's, and then it's uh, really tough to get asked to play that. Yeah. Rockwich. If we can blag a week in R B for that'd be brilliant. But <laughs> <laughs> I hope we'll see. If you get invited, can you just keep us in mind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. That'd be, after the weather we've had this last weekend, that would be really nice. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, that's it. If anybody wants to uh, offer us anything, then we're open. So uh, perfect yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Give us a shout on the website. Yeah. Get in touch and. And the website address is www.blackstarbullet.com. Excellent. Or Facebook. Uh, there's loads of ways these days in yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah, get in touch if anybody's mm-hmm. got anything, we'll, we'll play anywhere. Yep. As you were all growing up, uh, before you started getting into bands as such, what were your main influences musically? And was there anything Iron that was really Maiden, off the wall? Definitely yeah. Iron Maiden and Kiss. Yeah. Has that shaped you in the way that you perform? Kind of, yeah. yeah. But we've all got different musical tastes yeah, so we've got quite it different. makes it good into the melting pot that yeah. everybody likes something different mm-hmm. so. yeah we've got staples like everybody likes ACDC I suppose and that sort of thing anything over the last sort of um, 8 or 10 years that has popped up that you like the sound of Airborne I like Airborne mm-hmm. Dead cool. Daisies yeah yeah we wouldn't want to catch them now. That's I was going to say yeah, looking forward to that um, I don't know Mine's got millions of well, Zen Gorilla, I quite like them. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've knocked it on the head now, but they were around for it. They were huge fair play, weren't they? Terrible. Let's be honest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to go for the obscure. <laughs> Me, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just 
standards really, ACDC, Stones, I like, quite like, you know, Stonesy kind of, kind of rock and roll and bluesy stuff. Blues, yeah. Foo Fighters as well, I suppose. Foo Fighters in recent years, and uh, yeah, I was quite into the grunge thing as well. Uh, be nice to be And punk, actually. Yeah, did that, did that have an punk. effect on you? Yeah, it did, yeah, up? definitely. Yeah. I missed that completely, to be honest. But... Yeah, yeah, it did, it did. Uh, well, we've kind of got the punk, punk ethic in a way because we're doing everything ourselves mm-hmm. still, um, you know, promoting ourselves and funding ourselves. So. I just going to say, so the albums are paid for by the band. Yeah, 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 yeah. through hard work, if you like, really. Because a lot of people are going down the road of crowdfunding or pledging or whatever, but uh, yeah, you're if quite if happy doing could, it the way you're doing it. Well, if we could get our head around the technology, <laughs> probably, probably, yeah. Or bump into a millionaire. Look into that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we like... I suppose we're a bit control freak, aren't we? Well, we can we do what we want, people telling we? us what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Where to yeah. be. Just the fans, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But we, we, love, we still love, love doing it and we love creating stuff. And... Which do you prefer? Being in the studio or performing live on stage? Well, they're two different things. It's like... Same as being an actor in it and doing theatre and telly, it's not. Like, it's completely different. Definitely on stage for me. But they got pros and cons, both of them. Yeah, I, I, I like both in, for different ways. You get you, have, you get massive instant buzz on stage mm-hmm. in places like today. Yeah. Where you've got a good crowd and you can see that a lot of what you're doing. That's obviously brilliant. Yeah. You can feed brilliant. off that as well. Yeah, yeah. Very cliche, but you do. Yeah, yeah. It gets you really buzzing. And the studio's diff- it's a different thing. You get a, it's just obviously a slower process. Do you get a buzz, so to speak, when you when you sit down and you write a song and you can obviously watch it from the beginning to, yeah, the, to the finished the article? The creative process before the studio, that, that's another buzz itself. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. in rehearsals, when, as when someone new yeah. comes in and and we all start messing about with it. And somebody's got two or three chords and three lines of awesome music. Show, guys. Cheers, man. And all of a sudden, you can get a whole song out of it. And, you know, we all have input into that. Yeah, yeah. So, Is there any one of you who's, who's the main songwriter? I think Andy, really, who's, who's actually a Yeah. at the minute. He's, he's busy... Uh, Gathering inspiration. <laughs> is that yeah. what he's doing? He's out there somewhere. He's at the bar gathering inspiration. Yeah. Listen to conversations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, 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 all it's, it's mostly Andy. I, I come up with some as well, but um, he brings them in. But I think it's important that we all have. I think the reason we've stuck together so long is because we all, we all put input into it, mm-hmm. into the songs, and that that's what. It makes it everybody's song yeah. rather than yeah. just one person. And I, yeah. I, I think yeah. Yeah. I think no one would I know I wouldn't anyway, I wouldn't just do it if it was someone someone bringing a song in and saying, This is your bit, play this. Right. That's That's why I wouldn't want to be in a covers band, particularly. We do throw a few covers in every now and then, mm-hmm. but it's as Martin says, the creative process. Exactly. And, and it's, it's original, it's got your name your own, to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's your, your legacy, if you like. Exactly. Yeah, it is a legacy. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. the right word. When yeah. you drop dead, you'll have your kids and your music left. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Very deep. <laughs> Very deep. Well, it's true, isn't it? It's like, yeah, if you do something creative, that's what you've left. Yeah. And on that sombre note, thank you very much indeed, guys. <laughs> really appreciate it. I'm hoping I don't die any sooner. <laughs> well, not soon. in the next sort of couple of hours. No, really. no, no, no. Uh, Minas Belez Radio, live from Hard Rock Hell with Black Star Bullet.